Welcome to Game 3 of Mafia Keller Ram vs. Pro Marine. This is Pro Chosen. This is Pro Butterfly. Chosen, get us started. Down here in the bottom middle position playing the orange Zerg is Mafia Keller Ram. Up here in the mid left position playing the white Terran is Pro Marine. And this is unfortunate for Mafia Keller Ram. He's got another hard matchup and he's gotten Zerg all three games. So it's very hard for him to defeat Pro Marine with Zerg, and it is unfortunate that he hasn't gotten Pro or Terran yet, but that's how it goes when you play random versus random, it comes with the territory. Yeah, he has to feel, I mean, kind of bad about that. That's not exactly what he wanted to see as that hash when he starts his game. Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible for him to win, but Pro Marine does not lose Terran versus Zerg very often. It's very rare that it happens. I haven't seen it for a while, but Mafia Kellerbrand is one of the most famous and top players to ever play fastest, so if he can do it, He's the man for it. Yeah, if anyone can, he definitely will take care of the work. And he's going for the standard build up here, the 9 hatchery, which is what he's been doing. 9 hatchery choke, and then he's going to go for the uh, dr another drone, overlord, and then a spawning pool. And it looks like Marine's taking down his barracks and his first supply depot, like always. Yep, putting the supply depot right here behind this gas, because this geyser is the one that Pro Marine's going to take first, and, the and then that way the SCVs mine gas efficiently. They don't pop out over here and then run all the way around in the command center. They pop out right here and mine gas directly. Overlord going to the middle of the map for Mafia Kellerbrand, and he does not see any gateways in the middle of the map, so he's going to assume that Pro Marine is Terran. Spawning pool going down behind the gas geysers here, and it looks like they're not. It, Pro Marine is not scouting yet, and like I said last game, it's getting to that point where it's fair for him to assume that his opponent is not Protoss because it's about two minutes into the game and he has not been scouted yet. He has put down the gas. Yep, going for a little bit of an early gas because he's starting to assume his opponent is Zerg because of the no scout yet, and he's going to be well equipped to go against the Zerg choke. And the other supply going down as well. And then it looks like Achilles put down his other hatchery. Yep, getting his first hatchery in the main part of his base, and he's going to go for that second hatchery right here. So going for a good build against the Terran, and we'll have to see how it plays out for him. And that other drone once again coming up to deal with this choke. Yeah, nice timing by Kellerbrand. That drone gets up here right when the hatchery finishes and then, then immediately to the sunken colony. That's what happens when you know what you're doing. And Pro Marine getting a little unfortunate with the scouting. He's got an SCV going down here to the bottom right, and he's got a Marine going up here in the other direction. And then this Marine's going to go to the corner, so it is going to be a while until he scouts this mid-base uh, choke. I'd like to also note that Keeley hiding his Overlord because he's assuming he's Terran because it's not the mid-build. Yeah, you have to do that with that Overlord. Yep, that's a good job by him getting that Overlord out of the way so it can't go down to Marines. And the Zerglings coming out to get the scout. Well, Terran knows where he's at, that's for sure. And Pro Marine did not lose that SCV to that sunken colony. One more hit and that SCV would have went down, and that's a big deal because that's going to make it a lot easier and a lot faster for him to proxy factory. And I have to note this. This is a good job by Pro Marine. What you'll see happen is players will get greedy, and they'll build their factories like right here, right outside the, the Zerg choke. And then the Zerg will just sunken colony push and kill those factories before you can even use them. So great job by Pro Marine being smart enough to build his factories far enough back and not get greedy and put them up here. Of course, some of you may be thinking you can just lift the factory, but that's besides the point. It takes time to do that. Lift it far away and then land it. Oh, and Pro Marine making a mistake here. He needed to put Marines on both sides of his choke, and that Zergling sneaks through and he's going to see Pro Marine's build. But, and he's going to harass the SCVs here. Let's see if he gets one. And, oh, oh he got one. That's Marine, pretty impressive. He tried to micro it away in time, but as soon as he moved the SCV, the Zergling just got it. So good job by Mafia Kellerbrand. And, you know, any small advantage you can get, any damage you can do to your opponent, it all counts. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal or affect Pro Marine's build or anything. No, it's almost more of an insult. I mean, almost. Yeah. It's, it's just something, you know that Zergling is going to die, you might as well get some for it. Well, you it? know, usually what you want to do is split your Marines up and put half on this side of your choke and then half on this side of your choke. That way, no Zerglings can sneak through on either side. But Pro Marine, you know, just kind of relaxing and put his Marines in the middle and he let that Zergling slip through. Keely's not pushing out on his choke. Yeah, I don't know why he's not doing this. I don't know why he doesn't advance his choke point. He's just... Con he's just contempt with building his sunken colonies here at his main and then pushing backwards and I think that's a horrible idea for him. He needs to be really trying to take over territory with those sunken colonies and push them out to about here and slow down that tank push to give him more time because once you get those tanks here in wide range in your base, it's just so hard to defend against it. You're just, as a Zerg, you're just trying to buy time against the Terran to get your tech up. Yeah, this is exactly what he's doing. He went for the standard quick layer build. His layer was down in about four minutes, and he's doing the exact same thing he did last game, going for that five-minute hive. 
And he's just going to wait for that Spar to finish to make it a greater hive. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he goes Mutalist, Zergling, or if he goes straight to Mass Guardian, but I would assume he's going Guardian because he got the super quick hive. And he knows that Marine doesn't like to build extra command centers and dilly dag with that. He likes to go all in at these times. Yeah, but honestly, I don't know how he's going to win if, because he did not push his choke out like this. I mean, there's nothing to his choke point. He's going to have those tanks in his base so quick, and then it's just going to be almost impossible for him to come back and win. But it's going to be interesting to see if Keller Brandt can pull it off. Yeah, more sunks you have going longitude, just stun line. You have to siege and unsiege the tanks, move them up. It requires a faster EAPM and all on so on. Yep, and that hatchery going to go down here, and Pro Marine going to be advancing up. He's just going for the three barracks uh, marine pump, getting that academy down now. No command center. He's just going all in with his tank push, which is standard play for Pro Marine. He'll probably get Marine up range first, I'm assuming so. This is original StarCraft, by the way. Yep, this is the original StarCraft ladder, not the Blue War ladder, so there won't be any medics or lurkers. Colorbrand losing a drone there, that's gonna hurt. It's just a wasted drone, and it all counts. Got those sunken colonies back here, ready to morph as soon as the Terran pushes into his base, and that hive is already up, and the Greater Spire already going down, so he's doing a decent job already. He's gonna have those Guardians out in about two minutes or so, but he needs to really survive and try hard to just delay these tanks from getting into his base. He's going to be building some Metallus pretty soon, I guarantee that. 